Now somebody brought me this grill. He said it was a, a Raptor grill. I don't know anything about him. But he's putting it on a Chevy, so he wants to put Chevrolet real big on the front here. I told him we could probably make him something. So that's what today's project is. This here is just some quarter inch stock in the machine. The uh, well, You know the Tormox only got a 18 inch travel in the X, but this panel needed to be about 24 inches wide to be a good size to fit in there. So I engraved about half of the copy you can see here. And uh, I stopped the engraving at a good spot where the uh, the R in Chevrolet was close to the uh, close to the edges and then once we slide the panel down you can see where the cut stopped there and then reference off of this mounting hole when we cut the other half uh, the, dis the disruption should be minimal and if there is any it should be pretty hard to see just because of where it's located but it ended up uh, it actually came out pretty good it was really hard to see where the cut stopped and started. So that's a good trick for cutting a part that's too long for the, the travel on the Tormach. Or any other machine, I guess. So once I got that all cut out, I just took it outside and sprayed it black. We want the, uh, the background around the letters to be black, but so we'll have to... Uh, with the sand off the face in just a minute. But here we got the same problem where there's not enough travel in the machine. So those two mounting tabs that you can see right in the middle, uh, we started and stopped the cut right in there. And I radiused uh, the lead, lead in and lead out away from the material so that when I uh, index it over and lead in and out on this side it should have a, a nice finish there you could probably do it without the lead in but it just made me feel better to do it that way and it's being held in with some holding tabs here you can see where the cut started and stopped and you can't even really see it really but it's got those holding tabs so they gotta be knocked off anyway so even if there was a little bit of a distortion there it'd get filed down I'm just using a die filer here to get rid of those tabs thing leaves a pretty good finish on it it's kind of hard to argue with that so I got all those knocked down and uh, now we've got it outside just a regular belt sander I knew the paint was gonna clog up the belt so I just used an old one to get the paint off and then once that was done I switched over to a new belt to put the, the brush finish on Here it is all cleaned up. Came out pretty good. I didn't catch any video, but I had to put a small radius in this thing so it would mount to the grill because the grill is kind of curved. I just put it over a, a tire and leaned on each end and it, it ended up exactly where it needed to be. So the only thing I forgot to do was paint those washers that are on the back side of the grill so that you can't see them. But other than that, it turned out pretty good. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.